President Mohamed Buhari on Tuesday met with members of the business community and the leadership of political parties at an iftar dinner organized by the presidents in Abuja. Buhari urged all political parties in the country to keep elections and election-related differences aside and join his administration's drive to defeat insecurity, which he described as a common enemy, bedeviling the country. He said, without mass popular support to our hand-working armed forces, it will take us much longer to finish off the successful war we are waging against terrorism, banditry, and kidnapping. Our country must be kept safe for progress and prosperity to be entrenched. I look forward to seeing the reflection of this spirit in the relationship between the parties and the government, especially as the electioneering season will soon be upon us. The president said the National Executive Committee of the All Progressives Congress had tremendous success at its meeting last week, stating that the party will continue to push for the creation of democratic principles at all levels. He added, today we can proudly say that we have a political system that allows political parties of all views and persuasions, reflecting the diversity of our nation to coexist and contest for elections at all levels of government without fear or institutional bias and pressure. Buhari also boasted that his administration had done exceedingly well in improving the business climates, urging the private sector to complement the government's efforts in poverty reduction and job creation for the young people. He said no administration has done as much as we have done in the creation of a climate best suited for business, big and small, to thrive. The ease of doing business index that is globally recognized has acknowledged that the ease with which business is carried out in the country has never been better than it is today. We will continue to make it better. We will equally continue to count on the support of the private sector to improve economic growth and create new job opportunities for our teeming population. Employment is crucial to the stability and prosperity of our country. Government and the private sector working together have an opportunity to transform the lives of people in ways that was hard to imagine in the past. Hmm. My people, my people, Nigeria, my people, Nigerians, my people, you can imagine. <laughs> you know, there's always that template, you know, theoretically, they will write, they will just write what ordinarily ought to be done. They will just write it. You can imagine somebody who is who has spent seven years is still telling us that uh, if people do not support him, if the masses do not support him, that it's going to take a long time. Somebody that told us that within six months, that's what he said, that within six months that uh, when he was campaigning, when he wanted to come into power, that within six months, the issue of uh, this uh, terrorism and what have you will be a thing of the past. Then, then we were not talking about all this uh, banditry and uh, kidnapping and what have you. We were just dealing with Boko Haram. And the man that promised that if within six months everything will be settled. Now banditry enter. Seven years, going to eight years now. Is he telling us cock and bull stories? And this man is telling us with the way economy is, he said he has he has done so well, more than any other government. You know, they will just write all these things, like I've always said, and from what I have noticed, their one is that you know what? Whether you believe what they say or whether what they are saying is in tune with reality, they don't care. It is your problem. Whether you feel that they are lying or they are not saying the right thing, they will just say it anyway. They will say it. So that's just what I have said. You can imagine somebody saying nonsense, saying rubbish things. They will just say it. And if you like, take it. If you like, don't take it. They've said it and, and, and that's it. <laughs> it's, 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 this man is funny. So what is now the essence of him inviting people for dinner the wife invited people for dinner separately why can't they do things together he was the one that was supposed to have he was supposed to have done that before the wife in the first place because i believe if he had done it the wife wouldn't have done that again support you he said people should support you support you with words now you hold money now you hold gun 
So now your teeth will go to support you. God go reward you. Was this your campaign promise in 2015? I don't understand. Though. It was everything. They are the one that makes policies. They, they, are, they, are, they are the ones that make policies. They will still tell you that you come and, come and join us. Join us to do what now? Is it just to put your hands and do what? All the advices that people have been giving you. Have you taken them? No. There's an agenda. There's an agenda. As sad as you are, you suppose you supported Boko Haram and you were their mouthpiece. Quotes. Any attack on Boko Haram is an attack against Northerners. So how can we ordinary citizens help you to fight your missionaries? Your you brought to fight good luck, Jonathan. Are you really normal? Now all Nigerians are to be blamed. That is smart. Excuse is like a shoe. Just find the one that fits you. Did you, Mr. President Buhari, support the past government? Did you ever attend National Security Council meeting that past head of states and president do attend? Instead, you were busy lobbying others not to attend. Even as insecurity was alarming dead, just to frustrate the governor, the government. Now you want people to support you. That time you were taking side with the insurgents to run down the government to enable you get to the position you occupy today, which has brought untold hardship, pains, shame, and national disgrace to Nigerians. So, Mr. President, stop saying what will trigger the anger of Nigerians that has been waiting for your administration to end so you can go away with your failure and incompetence. That's God. Thank God this opportunity was given to you. If not, we could have been regretting for not having you as president and having you too. We are regretting, meaning that you are the worst that can happen to any human being or nation. You are all Nigerians to support you in what way? You have all armed forces to use. Instead, you are chasing shadows in Southeast. How can we? You can, can you expect terrorism to end? Remember, you campaigned with this issue of insecurity in the country in 2015. Your regime is coming to an end. Now you use your mask and said it will take a long time to defeat the insecurity. Hey PC, hey, support you how now, Oga? Cluelessness now your real name. Just pack and leave next year. The zoo is finished. Revolution now to end this bloody contraption called Nigeria before it will end all of us. You see, this man, eh? Oh, he gets he gets sense. Wait, the DC itself. I saw that he is. He thinks he's smart. He thinks he's smart. Very unfortunate. So, guys, that's it. So, he said it's going to take a long time before this whole nonsense will, will stop. You know, this man said it. Burata, he said that it will take 20 years. And that is what he's vomiting now. 